Patient involvement in research is really all about partnership. It's about working with patients for two reasons. First, to help ensure that we ask the questions that matter to them. And secondly, to ensure that we do research in ways that feel right and so that they want to take part. It's really just to get ordinary lay people involved from the very beginning, from the, from the ground up. Um, rather than it, all, all the reports and the, the theories being propounded by scientists or research doctors, there needs to be a bit of involvement with the human beings at the very beginning, or possibly the people who are poorly, so they can actually put their two pennies in and say, well, actually, don't think that would actually help me very much. It's the quality of life that I'm after, not necessarily the quantity of life. Um, or whatever the impact of the particular research survey might, might be after. What I was there to look at is what it looked like from a patient perspective and um, imagine myself in the boots of the people taking part the pro in the project, looking at how it would feel for them. Was it asking the sort of questions that I feel that people in my community um, that I know would be asking. But it was really interesting because their idea that they developed and, um, was that research questions should not just be left to researchers because in the end it was for the benefit of patients all this research is not for the researchers really. They get the pleasure d doing it and, and answering questions but, but patient benefit is what research is about. Well, I think it humanises it, for a start. Um, it makes it realistic. It keeps it focused. And I think if patients are involved in, in the research process and they're involved properly from start all the way through to finish, then there's a better chance that that research will stay focused on the real problems and the real issues that need to be tackled. Some people get involved in research because they're patients and they have experience of a specific condition. For other people, they get involved not for that reason, but because they're not medical or health professionals and they want to help research stay grounded and it's really important that we involve them. Giving back for the treatment that I got and, and the care that I received um, and anything I give in PPI is nothing to what I get back out of being part of it and that's being very honest um, but certainly I just see it as being a partner uh, with researchers and helping to improve treatments uh, and quality of life for, for other patients coming after us right from the initial bit of what's done in the lab right through to what it means in changing services and treatment. Um. I think when I first got involved with stroke research, as I said earlier, it was because I wanted to improve physically, but that very slowly um, changed into being involved for my cognitive recovery and my psychological recovery. And that kind of sort of tickled my nerves, yeah, yeah in the sense that, you know, I said, right, okay, well, that looks interesting. Because, yes, okay, I have been a patient and I'm still a patient. Yeah. Uh, but I think to contribute to the work that you guys do yeah, and be involved in that particular process, I think is quite important. Because I was bored, basically, and I do believe I was shuffling along the road to a dusty death and I thought, well, I better keep my brain alive. I want to interact with people, so... That was basically what I did it for. I'd like to quote some high ethical motives, but no, it was really just interest for me. That's what it was about. And I should also add, there are times when you will um, not, have, not be in agreement, and you will, so it's not always great. You know, it's not always satisfying. There are times when you don't agree or when you feel frustrated. It's very seductive. Um, it's, it's very exciting. Um, fascinating um, but it's also you feel extremely valued um, you feel that you are making a difference 